successful I was seeing snook everywhere um, but I couldn't get hooked up with one because it was low tide which it is low tide right now but we are in the early morning hours it is 7 22 a.m. currently I'm hoping to get there by about 7 30 um, and hopefully it'll be good um, I'm gonna throw some NLBN lures and I'm gonna be throwing them on a new reel that I just bought yesterday it is a Daiwa Saltis 2500 uh, obviously you guys have seen me use the 3k and the 5k so um, after my Daiwa Kage 2500 getting bent out on Peacock that was kind of ridiculous so I needed to get something a lot more durable that can handle more weight in a 2500 size so um, we're gonna try to catch the first fish on that reel and see what we can get on some NLBN lures let's get it Hopefully we can find a snook. I've been here a couple times. Usually early morning's good for the snook. But like I said, it is low tide right now. So we'll find out what's going on. So this is the new 2500 here that you guys will see me fishing with. Um, hopefully you can catch the first fish on it this morning. Uh, look at what we got right here. No fishing. Yeah, tide's pretty low right now, but should still be able to pop something out of here. I'm gonna start off with the NLBN mini mullet in the Twisted T color. Everything I'm using will be left in the description down below. Rod, reel, line, leader, lures, all that. Nah, I just got here. Over there? Just bring it, bring your, what are you throwing? NLBN mini mullet. Oh yeah, that'll eat that. Appreciate it. Have a good one, man. You too, sir. A little local intel. Let's go check out the other side. Tide chart this morning said it was like on the borderline of a negative tide, so that's why it's really low right now. Oh, 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 nice little snook right up under it. Nice little snook just hit it. Probably like a 20 incher. I really want this snook to come back. I want to catch him real quick and then we'll hit the other side of this bridge. Oh, look, there he is right there. There's a good one. There's two of them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's going right to it. Oh, my God. Tarpon, tarpon, tarpon. There's a tarpon and a snook chilling together. No way. First fish on this reel is a tarpon. Oh my goodness, guys, it's a pretty good tarpon, too. Oh, I just freaking lost him, man. He spit it, he spit it. He frayed me up just a little bit. I'm gonna retie. There was like a 30 inch snook and like a freaking seven pound tarpon just swimming together. That was nuts. It's tight quarters over here. Looks like it'd be hard to land a fish. I could make it happen, though.
Ooh, nice tarpon just rolled down there. I can't reach him from here. Why is everything gonna be freaking fenced off downtown? Even the other side, the whole other seawall is fenced off. Dude, two tarpon just rolled right here in my casting distance, like five pounders. Ooh, 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 one just swiped me. Ooh, 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 again, big one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, right there, got him. Tarpon, tarpon. That's a bigger one, that's like a 10 pounder. No way, tarpon. There we go, guys. Nice tarpon, nice tarpon. I'm gonna have to get down with him. Look at that, guys. Nice tarpon. Oh, I love these tarpon, man. They're so fun. All right, buddy, don't shake off. This is like such tight quarters right here, guys. All right, all right. He's like an eight pounder, man. He's hooked right on the top. So I might be able to just to like grab the leader. I mean, <laughs> rule of thumb in tarpon fishing, you never want to just grab the leader. But in this case, I might just have to. He's like a probably six, seven pounder. All right. He's staying pinned, so I think I can just grab the leader, hopefully. It won't come off. Even if he comes off right now, I consider that a catch. I have him right to my feet. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Get down on my knees here. All right, he's pinned. He's pinned really good. Oh yeah, I got him. I got him. I just hope my leader doesn't break at the hook when I pull it up. Oh yeah, he's a heavy one. He might be like 10. Let me take my backpack off so I can lean down as much as possible. Oh yeah, I consider that a landed tarpon right there if he comes off right now. <clears throat> oh no, he just broke the hook. No! Right as I was pulling him up, dude. Freaking broke my hook off. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen, man. I hate leaving freaking hooks in fish's mouths. And I was really hoping to get a picture with him too. That sucks, dude. If I was using 25 pound leader, that probably wouldn't have happened. You can feel it right here. Like my leader's like stretched. Damn, bro. I should have just got down with him. Another L taken. That's okay. I'm gonna actually retie a whole leader. And I might just go ahead and put on 25 pound leader because there's a few tarpon around here. Maybe we can get another one. We'll go hit somewhere else. And uh, I'll give it another 10 minutes right here. Oh, that was absolutely tragic, guys. There's a whole school of them. And I just tied up a whole new 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I haven't even seen one roll since I lost that one. So I don't know if the school kind of moved out or, or what, but. Um, I don't even really have another mini mullet the same color. They're all like limited batch colors. I guess I could throw this guy. This is the uh, fresh mullet color. That would probably look pretty natural. Yeah, we'll go with that for right now. Ooh, big one just busted up under this tree. All right, let's go check that other spot. And we may come back in a little bit because there seems to be quite a few tarpon right here. All right, guys, just pulled up to um, the next spot down the same canal. And I was here yesterday and it looks way lower than yesterday. So I don't know how it's gonna be, but let's go check it out. So freaking shallow right now. I still have hope though. I still have hope. There's this little bridge right down here. Maybe I can get down here to make a better cast up under that bridge. There we go. Ooh, just got popped, just got popped. Little snook, little snook, come on, come back for it. 
Popped it twice. Got him, got him. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh my goodness. This snook is probably the smallest snook I have ever caught on a mini mullet. Look at that guy. I'm gonna rinse him off real quick. There must have been a bigger one down there because that first pop was like definitely not this <laughs> and the second bite was pretty small so that could have been him but just gonna let him go real quick see ya bud maybe if i'm lucky there might be a school of them under this bridge maybe we can get hooked up on a bigger one Ooh, tarpon tarpon just hit it right there little tarpon probably like a three two three pounder got him another snook another tiny snook oh my goodness what is up with these guys teeny tiny snook so i tie on 25 pound leader because i thought i was going to be catching 10 15 pound tarpon and i'm just catching a bunch of just tiny little baby snook here hey it's something though i guess a little bit of an upgrade from that last one all right see you buddy all right let's fish our way back i'll just scope this out and if i don't see anything cruising and i don't cast at anything I'll just catch y'all at the next spot. All right, let's see what's up. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm snagging a barnacle. Oh yeah, this is definitely about to break off right here. Come on, man. Look at that. Two mini mullets in one freaking day. All right, I'm not losing any more mini mullets in one day. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss a three inch paddle tail. Let's see, I wonder what color they would like the best. Got a few different options here. Um, the tarpon really seemed to like the twisted tee. So I might go ahead and throw this twisted tee and see if anything wants to hit it. If not, maybe we'll switch it up to like a white or a PB and slay, something like that. Alrighty, let's do this. Try not to lose my phone or my wallet or my keys. All right, that was successful. Got the rod, now we jump. Ugh. Okay. Toss this little paddle tail around and see if we got something. There's gotta be something hanging out here. Oh, got something. Is that another tiny snook? It is. Oh no, it's a freaking ladyfish, dude. Are you kidding me? Don't rip my freaking paddle tail, please. A freaking ladyfish man a poor man's tarpon of course so i lose two nice tarpon today and then catch a poor man's tarpon how freaking stupid just hit that little three inch paddle tail in the middle of the canal over there all right before it gets too late let's go back to that little tarpon hole and see if we can make something happen Let's see if we can get one of these tarpon to eat again. It's about 9.15 a.m. right now, so it's a little late in the morning, but just maybe it's not too late for a tarpon. All right, let's go hit one last spot, hopefully to get on a good fish and then call it a day. All right. 
Alrighty, we made it to the last and final spot of the morning. It is about 9.40 a.m. right now. I'm hoping we can just pop at least one decent fish because those other fish that I caught, man, they are not it. Right as I'm walking up to this side, big alligator over there. He's not super long. He's like a five and a half, six footer, but I don't know if the GoPro is picking that up or not, but that's a super fat alligator. That thing looks like he probably ate a child. That's scary. Just got swiped at by a tarpon right there. Little guy, it was like a three or a four pounder. Ooh, nice. Just busted right there. Ooh, nice snook. I was just gonna say we can at least give this little canal a try for a few. There's just a nice snook, probably like a 26 to 28. Just spooked off right as I walked up. It is so shallow right now. If there were anything, I'd probably definitely be able to see it. I don't see anything right now. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any snook down there. Well, that sucks. Alrighty guys, so that is going to do it for this session awesome awesome hooking on to uh jumping one tarpon this morning first thing in the morning and uh not long after that had a tarpon all the way up to my feet freaking lost him dude and then you know a couple baby snook some days you have good days some days you got bad days i would say today was somewhere in the middle like a mediocre type of day i just really wish i could have landed one of those tarpon because i have not took a photo of the tarpon in so long i haven't caught one in so long um, just awesome experience having them out to my feet on the mini mullet. Everything I'm using will be left in the description down below. Also, comment some future ideas of fishing videos you guys would like to see. And uh, until next time, y'all stay safe, keep fishing, and tight lines. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Simple Florida Fishing. <laughs>